All right, so I'm back, and today we're going to go over the viewer responses for the um, uh, Green Goblin versus Joker rant of the week that I had uh, a couple weeks ago. Uh, first time I've actually had a chance to sit down and go over it. Um, so let's uh, let's get this going. Let's see here. Jay Black says, Mighty Mouse versus Catwoman. Of course, Mighty Mouse. He's got his own theme song. Let's see. Sammy Turner says, All of DC versus all of Mar Marvel. Who wins Shazam? No, Marvel. I, I would, I, my vote would be Marvel would win. Um, just... They have more rounded characters and bigger threats. So that would be my kid. Um, Jay Black says, Dorothy subordinate versus, <laughs> from the Golden Girls versus Spider-Man. Um, the Golden Girls. She can call in reinforcements. Um, Ultra Magnus says, uh, Goblin would destroy the Joker. I agree. Uh... Dark Convoy Review says, While I like Green Goblin, Joker would win. Uh, he would manipulate the whole battle and eventually use his Joker laugh gas and either kill or run away. Um, Joker is wise enough to know when when to run or, or outthink his opponents. Also, Batman has beaten Darkseid and has fought several high-powered criminals. Batman uses his intelligence to beat his opponents. Um, he goes in already. And he goes in already. Know their powers and weaknesses. As for Batman in the Marvel Universe, he's already beaten Captain America. Uh, Joker would figure out how, figure out who Spider-Man is and go after his weaknesses like family and friends. Uh, I don't think. I think you're giving Joker too much credit there. Um, you know, yeah, he's he's a very great, clever mastermind, but the first run-in he'd have with Spider-Man, he'd realize that Spider-Man overpowers him, and, you know, just completely overpowers him, and it would just... Joker wouldn't find it fun. I, I would imagine Joker would go after somebody more like Daredevil or uh, maybe Moon Knight, somebody that he can try and drive crazy. Um... So that's that's where I would I would put uh, Joker. Um, I, I, he wouldn't stand a chance against Spider Man. Spider Man would would defeat him so quickly. Um, and as far as the laughing gas uh, against Green Goblin, Green Goblin does utilize a um, um, gas mask uh, or gas filter through his mask so I don't think the j laughing gas would actually have any effect on him um, because you know he can filter out the toxins in the air at, from his own weapons so um, and, and like, I, like I said in my video Joker might be an accomplished chemist um, but Osborn is a master chemist. There, you know, he's he built an entire company off of it. So, I, I would, I would, I would say, Goblin has a little bit more on that one. Um, but I mean, I'm not saying you're wrong in your opinions. I'm just my opinion is I don't, I don't think, I don't think so. Uh, all right, let's see. Jazz Prime 74 says, why does this deserve your weekly rant of the week, though? Um, anyway, still like videos, but it sucks you're wasting your weekly episode on such a silly topic. Um, well, because uh, a lot of people were talking about it, um, that I saw anyway, and it was, uh, Goblin's important to me, and I'm, you know, import, uh, you know, I, I like comic books, so, uh, that's why I wanted to do it, and... You know, um, it's been kind of transformer to light lately. Um, I know my channel has been too, but there hasn't been that much stuff going on transformer wise. Um, uh, so yeah, I, BotCon is this weekend, so you know, hopefully next week I'll have a rant of the week on like if there's any reveals. Um, but yeah, that's 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 mainly why, and and you know. Like I said, I just wanted to discuss the topic. 
Uh, John White says, uh, good rant. Uh, here's a classic for you. Thanos versus Darkseid. Um, Darkseid, of course. Um, Thanos is the actual cheap knockoff of Darkseid. Um, and then Sinestrio versus Apocalypse. Apocalypse. There's not even a fight there. Uh, <laughs> it wouldn't. Apocalypse versus Doomsday. Um, my vote would be on Apocalypse eventually coming out on top. Uh, that's a good one. Yeah, because Hulk gives Superman a run for his money, but Superman comes out on top. Apocalypse is able to make Hulk submit to him. So, I would put Apocalypse in the same strength level as Superman. Um, just smarter than Superman. Um, the one, one thing I always, always have to say is Superman's an idiot. Um, <laughs> I mean, he's not an idiot, but in comparison to other heroes, you know, like if you look at Batman, who's genius level you look at the fantastic four who are mostly genius level spider-man who's genius um tony stark who's a genius um and then you look at superman and he's like Burr. you know he's not very smart um so so yeah um magneto versus general zod uh general zod would eventually come out on top because magneto while he controls the magnetism and metal um you know, Zod would just tear through it. Um, and Kryptonite's not a metal, it's a rock, it's a mineral. So Superman or Magneto wouldn't be able to control it. You know, he'd try, um, but ultimately he doesn't have enough power behind him to, to stop a Superman esque villain. Um, all right, Daniel McClung says, I half agree with you with what you're saying but with this argument it's basically comes down to one thing circumstance um if you're looking at say mortal Kombat here uh they are uh now fight to the death um goblin would crush joker without even breaking sweat of course um but if you're talking about a long-term fight over a great deal of time with uh, many different types of encounters then i think the joker would edge him out and this is based on what you said yourself. The Joker is a ta tactician and he learns from his mistakes. He would see the goblin, how the goblin works, um, what he does and why. But I also agree with you, uh, why, would, why would he in the be is the best question. He would most likely join him before he would fight him. Yeah, the goblin and Joker would make an, an excellent team up. Um, but, you know, Goblin's also a pretty good tactician, too. Um, sitting in the shadows and letting another, you know, henchman um, do his work. Whereas Joker's got henchmen that are just regular old, you know, henchmen. Um, Goblin's got superpower henchmen. So, um, well, that, that edge definitely goes to Joker. Um, I still think, in the end, Goblin, Goblin would take him. That's my opinion, and I'm sticking to it. Um, Jeff Perrin says, Is Superman, Supernatural the same as magic? Um, I looked this up during the past couple of weeks. No, Supernatural is different. Um, got me thinking of how G1 Transformers, G1 Transformers used to have uh, either special powers or firepower. Um, that's something a lot of the newer lines are missing. Mostly change, change modes and shoot lasers, pew pew. Okay, I'll come back to the comic book universe. Um, real quick, I, I agree. Um, you know, like Mirage used to be able to go invisible. You had um, Skywarp that could teleport. Um, you know, and, and, and so on and so forth. And nowadays, they don't have any special abilities. Um, which is kind of unfortunate. I kind of I kind of I, I miss that. I mean, movie verse and animated verse anyway. Um, I mean, it, it definitely changed the dynamics uh, of the show. Um, although, when they tried to do it in, like, Beast Wars, 
um, with Black Arachnia and her telekinesis, it, it turned out just like, oh, this is stupid. Um, all right. Um, we see Hulk versus Galactus versus uh, Batman, Spider Man, Superman, etc., etc., in versus. Um, I'm not religious, but what about Miss. Uh, Mephisto, uh, one above all, High Father and Dark Side. Either by universe mixed up or team up. Either way, uh, Battle of the Gods. Um, Sammy Turnage replies to him, "No, it's not. Ghost Rider power only works on people who have sinned. Spider Superman is a Boy Scout, so nothing Ghost Rider would do." Uh, nothing Ghost Rider does would work. Uh, not even his pennant stare. Uh, now, Doctor Strange, Scarlet Witch, uh, they may be able to stop Superman, but when, then Shazam would come in and stop Doctor Strange. Um, so, Scarlet Witch isn't really magical. It's mutant power. Um, Doctor Strange would kill him. Um, now, as far as Ghost Rider goes with the pennant stare, um, Superman might be a Boy Scout, when he's in control, but he loses control so often, you know, he's racked up an innocent death count. Um, and, you know, even when he's battling people and, you know, part of the city gets destroyed because of the battle, um, you know, he would, ima I would imagine he'd feel guilty for that. And that's where the penance stare comes in. So... So I would still say, you know, one look from Ghost Rider would kill him. But also, um, I'm going to go with a B-class villain that would trash him, too. Um, Demo Goblin uh, from Spider-Man. Um, so he's demon. He's got supernatural powers and abilities. But he's also got magical abilities as well. Um, uh, so he's got the super strength, magic, goblin gear, all that stuff. I, I think he would uh, tear Superman apart. Uh, mostly because, uh, like most people, Superman wouldn't expect it from somebody that's such a low-level villain. Um, so, yeah. Uh, so then Jeff Perrin said, replies to him, Yeah, um, but classified, is his power magic or supernatural? Ghost Rider is supernatural. His, pow his power is. Uh, well, just is. Uh, while magic is a science and an art form, this is... Participated in study, Doctor Strange, Brother Voodoo, Morgan Le Fay, um, Doctor Doom. Don't forget about him. Uh, so not disagreeing on Ghost Rider versus Superman fight. Uh, I was picking characters I know little and care less about, um, but are powerhouses in the universe. Although all above one, all above all would probably blink them all out of existence. Even Ghost Rider and Superman. I wonder one above all versus Franklin. Franklin Richards. Um, so now we're talking like Omni Power guys. Um, just remember, you have Blink Apocalypse out of existence, he'll find a way back. <laughs> he always does. Um, Jeff Pern says anti -mon monitor in DC is the same type of powers, but yes, Franklin could eliminate Superman. Uh, Brother Blood is not magic, it's supernatural. Morgan Le Fay, that's magic, but yes, not Brother Blood. Brother Blood and Brother Voodoo are two different guys. Blood is more of Teen Titans villain, whereas Voodoo is more of a good guy-ish. He's teamed up with Spidey, man, Spidey Werewolf, uh, Thang, and Moon Knight. He's, yeah, kind of Voodoo kind of guy. Weird. Um, a little confused in, in this comment you keep bringing up superman one above all is marvel's version of god check to see if there's we're on the same page anti-monitor is a good pull same could be said about for specter sammy turnage okay this is coming on on moving on um burner xr um i got a marvel versus dc card involving this subject I, and i think he Sent it to me and um, <laughs> I took one look at the picture and it was um, Green Goblin 3 um, versus Joker, which Joker would Joker would be able to beat because he has absolutely no skill um, and the super strength is reliant on the mask. Um, so if Joker were to damage the mask, which you see in his final issue, 
which was um, where he fought a sentinel and the sentinel damaged his mask. He lost his super strength, thus losing all the powers and abilities, and therefore, you know, he was no longer a goblin. Um, he later stole some goblin gear. Uh, but, um, but yeah, that, that Joker would beat him. Um, no, no question. And he'd beat most of the Hobgoblins, exception of Hobgoblin 1. I'd also say Joker would probably beat Harry Osborn as well as Green Goblin. Uh, I, I would say the only Goblins that I'd really say would beat Joker, um, uh, because of Joker's intelligence, um, would be Green Goblin 1 and Hobgoblin 1. Both of them, I, I, my opinion would be they would tear him apart. But he'd be able. I, I would give it to him, saying that he'd be able to beat the rest of them because the rest of them are either untrained, or don't have the powers, or are stupid. <laughs> I mean, like literally, they're. I mean, like look at Jason McIndale. He wasn't the brightest crayon in the box. Um, Seeing funny, John says, "Ah, oh, you're missing out. Ultimate Spider-Man was great. Uh, Batman Beyond got a sequel, comic-wise, but." But it's straight too far from the main series. They killed Terry and Dick got his suit. Uh, then he wrecked the suit and now dons the battle suit of Batman. Okay. Uh, unrelated, what is the difference from Daredevil and Daredevil's director's cut? I got to buy it for $5. I'm checking it out right now, but just in case. Um, and there is the Titus Touch. Uh, yeah, Titus... Or Ty is outside right now, but um, as far as the Daredevil and Daredevil's director's cuts go, if you're looking for, well, I mean, first off, if you're looking for a good version of Daredevil, watch the Netflix show. Don't even bother with the movie. Uh, but the director's cut, um, it added in more of the legal stuff, and you get to see um, Foggy working more as a lawyer you know trying to uncover the truth about certain matters and that was more enjoyable because that was more of how the comics go you see you know uh daredevil like ev avoiding that uh for the most part because you know he's he's getting sidetracked so it's a lot like the netflix show when they're you know he's off doing his superhero thing and foggy's running the business then you also get to see um like uh there's the 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 love scene in between Daredevil and Elektra at the beginning of the regular movie um in the director's cut he cuts out on her like they're kissing in the rain and then he cuts out because he hears somebody in trouble and he runs off so you see Daredevil giving up his personal life as well as his professional life for the superhero gig which is something that makes sense um that that's more of a Daredevil thing to do um and then, you know, at the end of the regular version, he throws Bullseye through the window, and then they go after the Kingpin, or the police go after Kingpin. Um, in the director's cut, you find out that Foggy and the police had uncovered... Uh, maybe the reporter was... No, I, I think it was just Foggy. Um, but they had uncovered the truth about who the Kingpin was. They notified the police, and that's why the police were going after him. Not because of what Daredevil was doing. They were going after him anyway. Um, what regular, um, you know, footwork would would have brought out. Um, so, that's why it's a better, better movie. It's just like, all around, it's a much better, far superior version of that movie. It, is, it makes it, it makes it, it goes from... Well, that was, uh, that was a decent superhero movie, I guess, too. All right, that was all right. You know, that was, that was watchable. That was good. Um, and then the Netflix show makes it look like, oh, well, those things are crap. Um, anyway, uh, he also says the truth is it would be Carnage versus Joker. Um, and crazy enough, they have a hidden relation bloodwise. I think they did fight, and Joker ended up just gassing him. Um... Which, uh, I guess I'd take him out. Uh, uh, Joker has become something more crazy, more crazy enough. He has a pure Lazarus pit. I did not know that. 
Uh, I think you made Green Goblin flatter. No wonder he made this face and he posted a picture. That's what he posted. <laughs> um, so yeah, anyway, uh, I guess that's those are my thoughts on that. Um, yeah. Uh, stay tuned tomorrow. We'll do a, a review of the Batman v Superman movie. Um, <laughs> yeah.